How are you so bad at baseball and why do you call it cricket? Currently, oh, I've got my phone now. 2:57 p.m. on the, I believe, the 7th of December here in the land down under. All right, guys. So before we start with the video, I just have a few announcements. 13 days. Like, I'm not even joking. 13 days until Eternity comes out on YouTube. You guys better go and have a look because it's going to be epic and awesome, and it's been a whole year's worth of blood, sweat, tears, and literally blood, fake blood, of course, and a whole heap of incredible teamwork effort stuff, and it's just great, and it's going to be really excellent to see you guys support this short film. It comes out on the 20th of December at 8pm, and on my Facebook, not my Facebook, my YouTube channel, you can go to... Um, the video, the actual video, and click on it, and once you do, click on the no notification bell to be notified when the video goes live for you all to see. For premiere, YouTube premiere, which is a new thing that YouTube started, and I thought, okay, I'm going to give that a go. Second thing is what I wanted to say is if you are a local, so you live around this area, like the Port Macquarie Warhope area, then this one's for you. I will be performing at the Warhope Community Carols on the 15th of December. That's Saturday week. So if you guys want to come have a look. Third thing I wanted to say, and I believe it is the last thing I wanted to say. Let me just double check. No, it's not the last thing I wanted to say. Okay. Third thing. We have reached 43 subscribers, which is like, yes, like this is so cool. Um, it's like, I know it's not that much, like, there's so many people that have so many subscribers, but honestly, I'm just thankful for whatever subscribers I get, like, but I would like to put a challenge out there. I would really, really, really love that by the end of the year, so just before 12 p.m. on the, no, 12 a.m., should I say, 12 a.m. on the 1st of January, which is New Year's. I would really love it if before then I could hit a hundred subscribers. So this is where I need your help. So if you guys could share this um, channel around, show your friends, you know, share it on Facebook, that would be awesome. Fourth thing that is really exciting is something that I can't exactly talk much about it. So funny enough, after shooting Eternity, I decided to work on something a little bit bigger in the next few years. It's exciting. I'm working on a few projects actually, but this project that I'm thinking of in my head, which you won't know because it's a secret, <laughs> is going to be wild, huge and crazy and it's going to be epic and awesome and of course while doing this big project, there'll be heaps of YouTube videos coming along, heaps of music YouTube videos. This channel will be mainly music soon. Please hold on, music people. Please hold on. I'm just, as we speak, gathering the music gear that I need to actually make this channel very musical. <laughs> but enough of that. Now it's time for the video. So this is a BuzzFeed thing I'm going off. I'm just going to say it's not like this new breakthrough thing, like it's been done a hundred times before, but I just decided I wanted to do it because it's coming into Christmas and to be honest, I love Australian Christmases. I decided I would do this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so it's titled on BuzzFeed, 21 Christian... 21 questions Americans have for Australians. Why is your money so colourful? It's currency, not a fashion content. <laughs> it's true. Like, I'm, I'm honest with you. Yeah. Our money is way too colourful. Also, why is it made out of plastic? Well, maybe because it can't break. It's non-biodegradable. So that means that it doesn't break down, which means it lasts forever, which 
probably also means that the turtles will eat it and die, which is unfortunate. But, however, it does mean that this money lasts forever. Did you really put kangaroos on your coins? Yes, we did. I will show you. Let's see. Am I rich enough to have a coin? No. Oh, wait, no. No. I have $2. Do I have money anywhere else? Unfortunately, I'm broke at the moment and I don't have a $1 coin. I only have a $2 coin. So, I can't show you guys, but trust my word, I'm telling you, we have kangaroos on our $1 coins. Is anything available in your country? Funny story, there are so many YouTube videos that I click on and, you know, they're usually my favourite bands. I love, like, Newsboys and... What's another band? Mercy Me. So when I click on Newsboys and Mercy Me music videos, the first thing that comes up is just this frowny face in a YouTube symbol and it says this video is not available in your country. You guys ever heard of shirts? <sighs> I can really relate to this one. I grew up like with a whole bunch of guys at my school who found it extremely they just loved to walk around shirtless women of course have shirts <laughs> but I think what they mean is because there's a picture of a girl here in her bikinis so and I will tell you you will get a few girls in their bikinis walking downtown a lot how much bagged wine do you people drink None. Well, other people might, but I don't. I don't drink alcohol. Have you ever made it through a sentence without swearing? <laughs> Seriously, I feel like everybody just thinks that every Australian swears. That's not true. There are so many people you'll meet who um, just don't swear. Alright, question nine. What's with the Celsius? Who do you think you are, England? I'm sorry, can I just point something out? I'm pretty sure that you guys in America are the only people that don't use Celsius. Strokes on you guys. Why are your pharmacists, pharmac pharmacies called chemists? You can tell I don't even know what pharmacist is. And why don't they sell beer? Because it's a, it's a chemist. I have some beer at a chemist? Wait, do you guys actually sell beer at a chemist? That's so weird. America, you need to get that checked out. That's not normal. How are you so bad at baseball and why do you call it cricket? I'm not a cricket fan, so neither a baseball fan. I don't usually watch sport, nor football. I'm really, really uncultured in that way. Even my pastor keeps on telling me, oh my goodness, you're not even Australian because you don't watch you don't watch football or cricket. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm not Australian. Maybe I'm just an actor employed by the government to pretend that there is a land such as Australia. Why do you call ketchup tomato sauce and charge for it? That is a good question. I I think it's ridiculous when people charge tomato sauce. Like, I think, like, ketchup's a weird name, though, because it's kind of like, oh, ketchup to you, and it's like, I don't know, it sounds like ketchup. Like, come on, ketchup. Like, I don't know. But however, our tomato sauce, sometimes they, people don't charge extra for it, but when they do, it is so annoying, and you literally have to dig into your purse to get more money out. Sometimes you don't have that money, and it is really annoying, and it's so disgusting to eat some foods without tomato sauce, in my opinion. That's just how... That's just how it goes. Question 13. Why do you call Burger King Hungry Jacks and Breakfast Brekkie? This is actually pretty funny because my eldest brother works at Hungry Jacks. And so does like half my class and school. I don't even know. I just, I don't know why we call it Hungry Jacks. It does look a lot like Burger King though, the Burger King logo so it's not like it's a different franchise i have no idea why do we call breakfast brekkie because we're lazy why are your large pizzas the size of our personal pizzas why is your obesity rate the highest in the world 
I think. Why are your pies filled with meat instead of fruit? Okay, I love meat pies. I just love them. But I prefer apple pie. However, meat pies is kind of something I also love. It's a real Australian sort of thing. And like, you know, at parties, do you guys have party pies? Like, you know, like sausage rolls and party pies? Is that something you guys have? Comment that as well. Like, if you guys have party pies, then comment. And I will be grateful that you guys have party pies. But if you don't, you're missing out. You really need party pies. How is high your second lowest fire danger rating? Because we're Australia, we're stinking hot, and we're always having fires because we're just hot, so. Why do your... Why do your pigeons look like this? So these are called ibises, and we all call them bin chickens. The reason for that is because they literally bite everything out of the bin. They scavenge things from every bin you can find. I remember when I was in high school, we had a bin chicken that would roam our high school and we named him Popcorn because we'd always feed him. So that was kind of our like school kind of pet. It kind of became our pet when he kind of became crippled. Because a whole bunch of Year 12 students thought it was a, a great idea and a funny idea to literally ram him into a classroom while there was a class in there working. And so this bin chicken is literally just flying around the class, the students are screaming, the teacher's getting angry, and then all of a sudden the bin chicken just falls and it's crippled forever. And so we looked after him and fed him popcorn, which is why his name was Popcorn. And then it ends with a big bang on question 21 and seriously, what's the deal with Vegemite? Good question. Thank you for this video. Um, if you guys like this video, then show your support. Big thumbs up and remember, I so would love you guys to take on board the challenge. Oh, I just threw that back there majestically. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could share this YouTube channel around, show as many people as you know, if that makes sense. I can't English again today. My brain is just going 100 miles per an hour. I'm just really excited about all these things I get to show you, but that's okay. I'll tell you about them later. So for a while, I've literally been thinking of how to end my videos because they've kind of, I have a starting thing, but I don't have an ending thing and I just realized what I should do. Me and my friends have the funniest story about when I literally just have a huge habit of saying love you bye on the phone and hanging up to anyone, including my manager. I've also said love you bye to my best friend's boyfriend when my best friend hung up on him on the phone. Good thing she's my best friend and she understands. So I thought, why not end every video like this? Love you, bye!